вот так вот тут стоял вот это вот. Куди так? Перші дні, коли ми повернулися після звільнення, то те, що люди були, ну, загиблі люди були просто, от, вони були на дорогах, під парканами. Я знаю, що одніх вони електрошоком, шокером питали. This is a story about cruelty and violence by Russian forces against Ukrainian civilians. Which floor were you on? 11th floor. Oh my god. Since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, my colleagues and I have documented the killing of civilians and damage to homes, schools, and hospitals. Reports of dozens of bodies found uh, in the rubble here in, in Bordyanka. Were there any military targets, Ukrainian forces? Ничого. Ничого вообще. Розруха повинна бути відшкодована за рахунок тих, хто розпочав цю війну. For about a month, Russian forces occupied parts of northern Ukraine as they tried to take the capital. But since they've withdrawn and moved south and to the east, more and more evidence is emerging of the brutality with which they treated civilians in these areas. Right now we're headed up to Bucha, which is just northwest of the capital of Kyiv, uh, and it was under Russian occupation from the early days of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Parts, I'm sure. Mostly everyone, yeah. I think, who stayed here, and mostly everyone lose maybe somebody or something. Yeah. God, this whole building is just torn in half, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, just bombing. Uh, Human Rights Watch arrived in Bucha just four days after Russian forces left the area. The streets of Bucha are littered with evidence of violations and apparent war crimes. Civilians have been killed on street after street. And it seems like around every corner, there's more. We saw bodies with their hands tied behind their backs, indicating that they were executed. Bodies were found in a mass grave beside this church, where town officials had buried people after the morgue had filled up. Funeral home workers told us that the bodies showed signs of torture. Among them were women and children. In Bucha and 17 other cities and towns that were formerly occupied, Human Rights Watch interviewed more than 100 people and heard evidence of serious abuse against civilians. There was one large attack uh, on this city that killed at least 47 people on a residential quarter. At the time, a few weeks ago, we were able to document that incident remotely, but now we can finally see for ourselves and further verify all of the details about this incident. I can't okay. But something was hit in the middle of that building. Yes, as well. Yeah, there was a lot of destruction here. A lot of destruction. So this area was clearly heavily affected by incoming munitions. Here's one crater we see. Uh, we saw two large craters over there, a smaller one on the other side. We're trying to find residents of these buildings who were here at the time that the attacks occurred. The dark, 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 the dark,
з очей, тобто ви да, ось да, да. такі... І, от, і от така шапка злетіла. А, коли це сталося, більшість людей, вони все ж таки були і жили у себе в будинках, чи так, роз'їхалися? Так, так, так. Я так, 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 так. So they were right here in the basement. Yes, they were there. Yeah. Oh, that's why they had the way from the mm-hmm. Do you have mm-hmm. any sense of why these attacks targeted this area? Were, were there any military targets, Ukrainian forces, soldiers, vehicles in this area? Ничого. Ничого вообще. Аптека. Жили масив, нема нічого, тут взагалі воєнних не було. Вообще, вообще нема нічого. Russian forces have used explosive weapons indiscriminately in populated areas throughout this conflict. Just outside of Chernihiv, we saw evidence of a cluster munition, an inaccurate, unreliable weapon that's banned by most countries. In the latest fighting, Russian forces have used at least six different types of cluster munitions, killing hundreds of civilians. Ukrainian forces also appear to have used cluster munitions at least once. So we are in Kiev. We just got a lead that um, there is a man who has survived captivity by Russians. Igor is a hairdresser from Kiev. He fled with his family to Bogdany village when the conflict started. But Russian soldiers went door to door in the town and he was detained. They brought him to the city of Dimer, where he was held with 49 other people. I know that one of them was a shock. Where did you find this? How many of them were there? I heard from the first day to the last day, because... Across occupied areas, People like Ihor were rounded up and held in deplorable conditions. Often their families had no idea where they were or if they were alive. Mm. In Yehidne, Russian forces held more than 350 people, including more than 70 children, in this school basement for almost a month. Ten people died, their names etched here on the wall. I just interviewed a 66-year-old guy, a resident of Novobikiv, uh, who was detained, uh, rounded up together with other civilians by Russian soldiers during their control of the territory. And he was detained in this building. He's so scared um, that he does not want to be on camera, does not want his name to be used. Uh, let's go inside and I can show you where they were held. In this small boiler room there were 20 people held at some point. Some of them spent their weeks. I don't know how to call it, a dugout, a pit. This is where seven people were kept. Dark, cold. For seven days he spent here. He was taken to the toilet only three times. He had no food at all. According to him, a Russian soldier came in to say um, that he had an order to execute eight of them. Made eight people count one to eight and took them out. The next day when he was released, he found two of them dead. They had smashed in the cemetery a few meters away. The third one was also discovered dead later. The fate of the five is unknown. Nearby, Russian forces left graffiti. It likely refers to Russian license plate numbers, indicating where soldiers or military vehicles came from. This could become evidence against the people responsible for crimes committed here. Yes, 
Yuri and his friend Ivan were in a car with the town mayor going to pick up medical supplies when Russian soldiers shot at them. Yuri showed us where this happened. І ми почали рухати. В цей час по нам звідти почали вести автоматичний вогонь. І ще раз автомобіль. Приклад. От он. Автоматичний вогонь вівся доволі таки інтенсивний. І витягнули от, от місце, де, де загинув Іван Зря. The pattern of abuse we are seeing in Ukraine is consistent with well-documented grave crimes by Russian forces in other places, such as Syria. The lack of accountability for those violations has regrettably opened the door for what is occurring today. In all of our research, what we hear again and again is that the victims of these violations want justice. Ale. Оці розруши розруха повинна бути відшкодована за, за рахунок тих, хто поч, розпочав цю війну.